Hello and welcome to Kentucky Field. I'm Tim Farmer. Join us as we journey across the Commonwealth in search of outdoor adventure. I guarantee we'll find it today. You know, throughout the show today, we're going to talk to somebody named Zach Campbell. Zach, what do you do for the department? I'm the boating education coordinator at Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife. And what do your daily duties include? Well, I uh, try to promote boater safety. We organize all the uh, boating education courses throughout the state. Uh, try to uh, get uh, the message that your life jacket's got your back when you're on the water. Uh, you need to wear a life jacket to be safe out there. So. And you got to have one legally if you're out there in a boat. Yes, you're going to get trouble if you don't have yes, it. Yes, sir. One for each person. I mean, specifically, there are things you can put around your waist. They're the big orange types that you always see. And if I got a kid out there, I want them completely rigged up so they're going to float regardless of what happens. Support that head above the water. What does it take for it to be a legal life jacket? Well, for a life jacket to be, to be legal, you, it has to be Coast Guard approved. It's got to be the right size and it's got to be uh, it's got to be readily accessible on your vessel. Um, for instance, children, um, anyone under 16, it's not recommended that you have an inflatable. Gotcha. Uh, they need to have your normal horse collar or, or uh, regular uh, uh, life jacket. So. Now the boating season is upon us. I mean, we look back today and everybody's putting boats in. It's that time of year to start thinking about being safe out there on the water because Obviously, there are dangers when you're out on the water. Things can happen. You, if you're in a lake, you don't know a certain area. There's stuff underwater. There's people who aren't paying attention to what they're doing. You always have to be on the defense when you're out there. Now, this right here, what type of device is that? This is inflatable. It's a, it's a manual inflatable belt pack. And it's one of the most comfortable, anyone could wear it, but it's, it's comfortable when you're out there, you're casting, it doesn't get in the way, it's not hot. Non-intrusive, you barely know you're wearing it, and it keeps you safe. But you have to actually, this, you have to actually pull on that yes, when you hit the water. When you hit the water, manually you have to inflate it. Say you're, um, you're on a vessel going really fast and, and you crash, it can come off of you. It's something that you want to be using when you're going slow. And the thing about this one is when it inflates, you actually have to pull it over your head. Put it up over top So of you head. have to be conscious. But you know what, it's panfish time. It's time to go out after blue, bluegill. And speaking of bluegill, is that a bluegill right there? Yeah. Look right there. Right there! <laughs> What's that? Hey, wait a minute. Ah, oh, I see how that works. That goes around your head. Hey, aren't there also devices you can throw? There you go. <laughs> There's. <laughs> go. Keep coming, buddy. Well, thanks for that. You're welcome. It definitely works. All right, now, a lot of times you'll be out skiing and moving along fast in the water, and you need something that if you go in, it's not going to come off. Yeah, and this one's great for a lot of your boater recreation, hunting, fishing slides. It's it's pretty comfortable. It's got the mesh up here. It's not very intrusive. I'm, I feel good. I feel comfortable. The obvious thing that a life jacket does is save your life and make you float. Because yes. there are times when you're on the water, you could be knocked unconscious. It keeps you, your head out of the water. If you're knocked unconscious, you'll you'll float up. Your head will be out of the water. You may be unconscious, but you'll still be able to breathe. Uh, you, you'll, you'll stay alive, and you're not going to sink down and fall in the water. You'll be surprised that uh, even the best swimmers need life jackets mm -hmm. because you never know. I could fall off the dock right now, or someone could throw me off like we saw before. Somebody would not do hit that. Hit my head. <clears throat> not around here. Now, there's a what, do you, what do you call a throw, throwable, throwable device? A, a throwable device, everyone to be legal, you have to have a throwable device on board. Mm -hmm. You have to have a U.S. Coast Guard approved life jacket for every person on board and a throwable device. And Tongo, is he, is he a certified throwable device? You told me if you went in the water today that he would save you. He didn't do a very good job, He, did he? didn't do a I very think, good job. I think he was a little more scared than than I was. But you know, I've noticed that your, your shoe's not tied. Oh, no! <laughs> Chongo! Okay, back to the throwable device. Come here, Chongo. Get him. Help him out. No, it's not working. You know what? Here, I'm going to throw this out. This is approved. How's this work? Come here, Chongo. Chongo. Come here. This is a Mustang Survival throwable device. The good thing about it, compared to one of those float cushions that you, you usually see on, on board, you could throw that thing 30, 40 yards. Uh, it's got good weight to it, pretty accurate. Uh, it's about as safe as it gets. People out there, you'll see they're, uh, they're investing, some people, thousands, $500 on fishing equipment. Why not put in $100 for something to that save, save your life? life? Yeah. Chongo is not included in this, in this package. Yeah, I, Based on his performance, I wouldn't pay 25 bucks for him to help me out. Let's talk about the fact that you don't want to wear these too tightly. Uh, why? You have to, you, most of the time when you're putting on a life jacket, 
some of the some of your normal uh, life jackets you want it to be tight and these you have to wear it a little bit loose to give it room to inflate you know you don't want to have it cinched down real tight you have to have life one life jacket per person on board your vessel so uh, say you got um, inflatables the second you take your inflatable off if you don't have a normal a regular life jacket uh, foam life jacket to replace that inflatable inflatable you you've then become illegal uh -huh. So you, you have to be wearing this for it to be legal. Gotcha. That's important stuff to know. And where can you get these things at? There's a lot of good brands. There's a lot of good places you can get them. Uh, the, our department, actually, we go through Mustang Survival. They have great, great products. Every, every one I'm wearing now and, and every one that we've had today has been a, a Mustang Survival life jacket. It's the same ones that our officers use. They're out on the water all the time in some of the worst situations. Uh, but as long as you have a life jacket, you're, you can get them a sportsman's warehouse in your, your local uh, uh, fishing hunting stores. Uh, you can get the inflatables and any other type of life jacket. You well, think? you saw the uh, fly fishing segment. What'd you think? I love the fly fishing. Bluegill. Yeah, I, I like bluegill. It's fun, especially on, on a fly rod, but I, I'm a bass fishing guy. I, I love bass fishing. Well, well, you got something against bluegill fishing? No, no, it's nothing against I, no, it. No, the tone you took there was, was degrading to bluegill fishermen all over the world. Yeah, it's just not as... Uh, bass are big. Bass bass eat bluegill. Bluegill, it's, it's fun on a, Saturday, on a Sunday afternoon, but it's, there's no... So what are, you try, what are you trying to say? Are you knocking us bluegill fishermen? Maybe a little Tell bit. Tell me the truth. Maybe a little bit. I, I just don't think you guys are tough. Really? Yeah. Let's try that out. Osprey! Now, how's that life jacket work? <laughs> Remember, hunting and fishing on private property is a privilege. Always ask permission and thank the landowners. The next week, I'm Zach Campbell. And I'm Tim Farmer. Hope to see you in the woods or on the water. No, in the water. In yeah. the water. <laughs> Thanks, Zach.